In this lesson, we'll be creating this fun cow painting with satin acrylic paints. This is a pretty simple project that can be done in a few hours. So grab your paints and let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using a Montmartre 50 by 60 centimetre double thick canvas, an acrylic palette, a 15 piece premium brush wallet, and for paints, we'll be using some titanium white, yellow pink, phthalo blue, raw umber, Payne's Grey and Yellow Ochre, all in the Satin Series range. The first stage is to draw up the outline of our friend onto canvas. Use a HB pencil for this. Once that's finished, we can apply a ground tone over the canvas. So squeeze out some Yellow Ochre and apply it with the largest brush in the set. Dip the brush into water to thin the paint so that the outline can be seen under the coat. A lot of people wonder about the benefit of tinting the canvas with a ground, and it's a good practice for a number of reasons. The first is that it gets rid of the dreaded white canvas. It provides a base that gives any colours laid over the top of it a more complex tone. And the ground tone can help unify the final composition if you let specks of it peek through in your finished piece. To paint in the background, squeeze out some phthalo blue and titanium white. We then roughly mix it on the palette and apply it onto the canvas. Cut in around the outline of the cow and add more phthalo blue into the mix as you move down the canvas. To paint in the background, squeeze out some phthalo blue and titanium white. We then roughly mix it on the palette and apply it onto the canvas. Cut in around the outline and add more phthalo blue into the mix as you move down the canvas. Don't mix the two colours together too much. This way, when the paint is applied, it has some more texture. This tends to add more interest than what a flat coat would. Now the background is in, we can start on the cow. Refer to the second colour reference image on our website for the painting stage. We start with a cute furry patch on the top of our friend's head. For this, I mix a touch of yellow ochre into some titanium white and lay the fur in with little strokes using a small filbert held on its side. I then paint white onto the head down to the nose. Again, I tint the white with a touch of yellow ochre and apply the paint with a dabbing motion to get a little extra texture on there. The next step is the nose and muzzle. And for this, we first lay on a glaze of yellow pink. Allow this to dry and then paint the hollows of the nostrils with Payne's Grey. Then darken the yellow pink with a touch of Payne's Grey and paint in the front portion of the nose and chin. Create a new mix of yellow pink lightened with titanium white and paint this onto the top plane of the nose and the highlight areas around the edge of the nostrils. We can then paint white into the lower side of the chin and onto the side of the nostrils. body has subtle shadows over it, and the best way to suggest shadows with acrylic is to build up the tones. So first, lay on some Payne's Grey mixed with a touch of white into any shadow areas. Allow this to dry and glaze some white over the area. The darker areas of tone will still be able to be seen beneath. Create a new mix from titanium white, a touch of yellow ochre and a touch of Payne's Grey tinted with some brown umber and relay this over the areas of shadow. Then lay titanium white over the areas of highlight and blend the tones smoothly together with a damp brush. either side of our friend's head. For this, I lay some Payne's Grey into the dark areas around the eye sockets and cheeks. 
and then lighten the panes grey with some titanium white and paint this around the black patches. Although the fur on the side of the cow's face is the same colour, the way the light falls on it causes it to look like a different tone in highlight. We can then paint in the ear and detail the eye. The same steps can then be followed for the patch on the other side of the head. on the body can be laid in with Payne's Grey and any highlight areas can be laid in with titanium white mixed with the grey. step is to detail our friend here and there. This involves applying titanium white in places to suggest highlights and add any little black spots here and there. Well, we hope you enjoyed this fun little project and you can paint your own happy little cow. Thanks for watching. Keep on creating and we'll see you next time.